Have you been crying? Your nose is red. Um, no. No, I went outside to get some things from my car. Um, must be from the cold. <laughs> that is my video camera, is it not? Yes, it is. I hope you don't mind that we used it. What for? Home movies? <laughs> no, not exactly. Well, it must have been something very riveting, because uh, you both looked very serious when I came in. Well, we were in the middle of a conversation. It had nothing to do with what was on this tape. Really? What is on the tape? Not that it's any of your business, Adam, but, uh... I was sending a message to some folks I know back in Pigeon Hollow. Kind of a New Year's greeting, you know, in person, or as close as I could get. Yeah. Yeah, what a splendid idea. Yes, I thought so. I bet I know most of those folks back in Pigeon Hollow. I'd be nice to know what's on the tape. Maybe I could add something of my own. <laughs> May I? No. Why not? It's personal. Personal? Or pornographic? Don't be disgusting. Back off, Chandler. I know you, Dixie. You don't know me. You're hiding something. You both look as guilty as sin. What is really on that tape? I've really had enough of the third degree. Then why can't you answer a simple question? Because she did. I, she told you it's a personal message to some friends. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but why go to all that trouble? Why not pick up the telephone? Because I don't have a video phone, and this is the next best thing? Why are you so suspicious? Why? Well, here we have a young woman and a young man. In a very large house, all alone, with a video camera, and the servant's night off. Now, what better opportunity to exercise some of your innermost fantasies? You are such a pig. Get your mind out of the gutter, Chandler. I think you owe this lady an apology. Well, thank you very much, but I, I won't hold my breath. <laughs> Tell me, how personal can a New Year's wish to the good people of Pigeon Hollow be? It is my life. And it's my tape. You heard the lady, Chandler. I'm having a private conversation with the mother of my son. You can leave at any time. I'm sorry, but... But I came with Dixie, and I intend to leave with her. You better leave voluntarily, or shall I have the police arrest you for trespassing? Which do you prefer? <laughs> you think you're so tough. The great Adam Chandler. You know you're nothing but a bully. Beats having your face velcroed to Palmer Cortland's behind. Is that why you're dallying with his niece to curry favor with the old goat? All right, that's enough. Now, thank you for trying to help, Braden. I really appreciate it. But let me just, let me handle him. Look, we're done here. Let's just go, okay? Adam Chandler. Adam, it's Owen. You pulled me off the golf course for nothing. What do you mean, for nothing? My daughter's in jail. And she'll have to stay there. I thought you were going to talk to the judge who issued the contempt order. I did, but he's new to the bench, and I've never even met the man, so there were no favors I could call in. Oh, come on, there's got to be some way you can talk reason to him. What? They have no right to keep Haley locked up. What he did was within his authority, and he's not about to back down. Doesn't he have an Achilles heel? Not that I know of, so... Until your daughter decides to cooperate, I think you'd be wise to drop it. No, I'm not going to let Haley spend another night in that cell. Then my advice is get her to talk. I don't need your advice. Thanks, Owen, for nothing. Well, I guess it didn't work this time, did it? What didn't work? Your old boy network. I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> Please. Oh, you know, fine. I'm tired. I gotta take Junior back to Uncle Palmer's. Would you mind, um, getting the car and bringing it around front? D don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll get Junior. I'll meet you right out front. Sure. I thought Junior was spending the night with me. Oh, really? So you can disappoint him again? I didn't disappoint him. 
I love that boy. It's not my fault they canceled the hockey game. Oh, you're right. You're right. Dixie, what is this about? This isn't about hockey, I know that. You've been acting strangely ever since I walked in here tonight. It's nothing. It's nothing. Dixie. Dixie, I've known you since you were a teenager. I can read you like an open book. Now, I could help you, I think, if you'll help, if you'll let me. It's Junior. All My Children will be back in a moment here on ABC. Anna, I know you say you love him, but I watch you, you know? I know you're chasing after Liza. That has nothing to do with, with my feelings for Junior. Oh, really? You know, well, what happens, you know, after she has her child? Nothing. Nothing will change. Oh, really? Look, Adam, you two are gonna get together, right? And then you're naturally gonna wanna be a part of her, her, her child. And what about Junior? What happens to him then? You're gonna be all wrapped up in the baby. I know you. You're not gonna have any time for him. You're gonna forget all about him. How can I, how can I possibly forget about him? He's my only son. As far as I'm concerned, the, the world, the sun, rises and sets on that boy. I would do anything for him. Nobody is going to replace him in my heart. Really? Not Liza's baby, no. Nobody. I really hope you mean that. I swear to you on my sister's grave. Dixie, you, you had Junior very young. You have a lot of years to, to watch him grow and, 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 and get married and raise a family of his own. But I'm a lot older than you are. And I may not be so fortunate. But I'll tell you one thing. Having Junior has made me want to savor every minute of every day. Because you never know when it can all be taken away from you. I want to make every moment count. I want Junior to know me through and through because when I'm gone, I want him to know who his father was. They grow up so fast. It's, uh, it seems just yesterday he was a baby. But he's just a little boy. He's a little boy who needs his father. He is his father. I'm going to be the best father I can to him until the day I die. You have my word for that. I have no idea how much I want to believe that. Because he's going to need you so much. Why, Dixie? <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Are you, Dixie? Are you going away somewhere without Junior? Dixie? You okay? Uh, yes. I'm fine. I'll be out in two minutes. Okay. Dixie, are you? Well, of course. I'm, I'm going away. I'm going to Uncle Palmer's. And I'm going to take Junior with me, all right? I'm just really... They're tired. Yeah. All right. Why, why don't you leave Junior here tonight? That way you can go right to bed and right to sleep. And I'll have some more time with my son. Okay. I'm going to go tuck him in. I'll be right back. All right. Take your time.
Okay, Junior's all tucked in, and I'm out of here. Okay. Thank you. Could you make sure that Lucretia packs him a lunch? I'm going to pick him up and take him to school in the morning. Yeah, of course. Good night. Good night. Sleep well.